Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a crime scene. Detective Flakes. Brand Flakes. So what do we have here, Lieutenant? 58-year-old green box. Name, Jax Apple. The perfect crime for a perfectly balanced breakfast. Time of death, sometime this morning. It's already gone soggy. Looks like we have ourselves a case of a serial killer. I've never seen anything like it. Well, Lieutenant, there's no crying over spilled milk. Welcome to Eating Things, and on today's episode, we're trying some funky cereal. Hey everyone and welcome to Eating Things. Today we are going to be eating some funky cereal. Funky, funky. Won't you take me to funky town. cereal downtown? We did that last time. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Brian again with us here. <laughs> On today's episode we're going to be deciding if these cereals are killing it, as in they're delicious, or if they're spilling it, as in... Get that shit out of here. It's, uh, it's out of here. Are we crying over spilled milk? So let's get started and we can start uh, spooning each other. Really? No food? <laughs> Fork yeah. <laughs> For our first funky cereal to try, we got apple pie. Woo! Toast crunch. The most American cereal. Yeah. Well, like everybody always says, like apple pie is the most American thing. Right? Yeah. Which I don't ever eat apple pie. I do think Cinnamon Toast Crunch is one of the like top five best cereals. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, that definitely has a very apple-y smell. Yeah, I'm the weirdo that doesn't like yeah. Cinnamon Toast Crunch at all. Oh. Honestly, I don't know why there's so many different apple farmers. There's really only one good kind of apple, and it's the Pink Lady Apple. Mm. I'm a Pink Lady. Which no. one do you like, the Gala Apple? No. No. I like apple. Honey Crisp. Honey Crisp. That's a cereal. No. I'm gonna go with the first bite here. This has a lot more of an apple taste than an Apple Jack. It does. It's too apple-y for me. I'm going in dry. Let me get a hit of it dry. This is severely better going in dry. The milk actually ruins the cereal. That's what you think. I can just say mine. <laughs> honestly. Yeah, it is the same. Oh, well. What do you think? Is it killing it or is it spilling it? I don't think it's killing it, but I also don't want to spill it because it doesn't taste bad. I just don't want to eat it again. Here's my thinking. Cinnamon Toast Crunch to me is such a high Yeah, it's so good on its own. It's such a high performing cereal that for you to add flavor to it, like a different flavor, it would have to be better than the original. It is fine. It is good. I, If I was like at a store and I was like, oh, which one do I want? Like the, the answer is easy. It's Cinnamon. OG. Regular. Yeah. So in no, no situation is this going to be the only option we have for a Toast Crunch cereal. So that being said, I want to spill it. Yeah, I guess we yeah. have to spill it. Yeah. yeah. It's, I'm spilling it. Yeah, I ate my words so fast. Like, <laughs> it's not disgusting by any means, but it's not favorable. It's not that good either. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> if I want a slightly apple flavored cereal, I'm going to go with Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks. And if yeah. I want Toast Crunch, I'm going to go with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah. And if I, if I want an apple toasty, you know, crunch, then I'm going to just mix Apple Jacks and Cinnamon Toast Crunch together. <laughs> so we all spill it. In. Spill that shit. So for our next one, we're going to move into some chocolate territory. I like some, chocolate. With peaty butter. And then we're going to see what Little Debbie does for us. Nutty Buddies. I've been excited to Dude, try these. Yeah, it looks really chocolate good. Chocolate and peanut butter flavored cereal. We got Nutty Buddy cereal. All right, I'm going to pop that seal. Ooh, it smells, it's very chocolatey. It smells, Ooh. Like, it smells like a scented candle. What do y'all think about Nutty Buddies? I love Nutty Buddies. They're, They're my favorite Little Debbie snacks. I forget yeah, about them. They're my favorite them. Little Debbie snacks too. They're really good. Like, I know that I like them, but I forget about them. Yeah. Oh. I don't <laughs> My dumb ass blue on it. <laughs> I did that during the ice cream. <laughs> hmm. It's got that fake chocolate taste. You know, that kind of chalky right at the front. Mm -hmm. But it's not bad. I actually like this. It does taste like anybody. Buddy. Yeah. Now, the only frame of reference I have for this would be Reese Puffs. See, and I don't think Reese Puffs are as good as they used to be. I don't like Reese Puffs. No, no. They did change the recipe on those. It's not too peanut buttery, which I like. Yeah. I uh, I love Reese's Puffs. That's why I don't like Always Reese's Puffs. Have. I think these are better. These are I think they're better than Reese Puffs. I think these are better. These are super good. They're really good. I would go to the store for these. I probably will. And for how big they are, how big and wide they yeah. are, they they like They're easy. Yeah, well they and they like they soak well. Mmm. Now they're a little more soggy. 
Yeah. The so when they like, get soggy, they're actually good. Yeah. Holy crap, little Debbie. You couldn't make good ice cream, but... That's good. You make good cereal. Born and dry. I always gotta go in dry at least once. Bite the pillow, I'm going in dry. Bite the pillow. It's better with milk. But it's it not is bad. better with milk, but it's still fine dry. Edible. That's good. Are doing edible? That's just it. Look, and then the, the milk is getting chocolatey. real chocolatey. Yeah. I love that. Is that good milk too? That's the milk. It's good and chocolatey. Let me see. Okay. Let me find out. So we are definitely gonna say this cereal is killing it's it. Killing it's it. killing it. Unanimously, this is game. killing it. It's like, slayed. Call that cereal Mike Myers, because it's killing it. By the way, we are putting all of our cereals back in our Monster Mash butter. Our Monster, Monster Mash. <laughs> our Monster Mash skull, and we're gonna eat that at the very end. Except for him. He won't. Yeah. Get she on. might not either. <laughs> Let's eat some more cereal. Yeah. So we got birthday crunch. Birthday, birthday crunch. crunch. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, real, real quick. <clears throat> kind of want to go dry first. You want to dry? You want to go dry first? So I guess also for reference, this is Captain Crunch's 60th birthday. Oh! I don't like it. It's I not it. very flavorful. It is dry. I liked it better dry. Mm. It's not really flavorful in the milk. It's pretty flavorful dry. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the milk does to it that zaps all the flavor out. Okay, so real quick, can we just like address something about Captain Crunch as a, as a whole? He's he's not just a whole, he's a man. <laughs> yeah. I feel like pretty much all Captain Crunch is not overly flavorful. That's not true. It's uh, all oops, berries. all berries. <laughs> Very flavorful. So okay, good. Look, Cut the roof of your mouth up to hell. I didn't say that it wasn't flavorful at all, just that it's not overly flavorful. Right, the, flavor, the flavors are all like low tone. Think about like, think about OG Captain Crunch versus Fruit Loops, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Fruit Loops is definitely less like low tone flavor. That is consistent with what I think of, of Captain Crunch with the exception of the peanut butter crunch because mm -hmm. that one is pretty pungent with peanut butter. Yeah. So, story from my childhood, I used to think that Captain Crunch was peanut butter flavored, so I never ate it growing up just like regular Captain Crunch. And it wasn't until I was a full grown adult, I was like, holy crap, this is just sweet corn. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I thought it was just like the default flavor was peanut butter. So, I was expecting this to be a lot more flavorful. Yeah, I mean, I liked it. I liked that. It was good. So you're, <clears throat> you saying killing it? I think I'm saying, uh, you know what, 60 years and he's still killing it, all right? So we're killing it. Yeah. yeah. Which is a good thing. <laughs> Serial killer. So for our next one, we're gonna um, take a little trip to Burgerland. We're going to Wendy's for cereal. I've had the frosty cereal before and I do think it's very delicious. Okay. So I'm gonna pour a bigger one here because these marshmallows are kind of scarce. And I wanna be able to get like a hefty portion of them here. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Oh, <laughs> hey. Get the french fries out of the oven, that way we can dip them in the cereal. <laughs> I guess it's kind of looks like a Cocoa Puff with some um, frosty colored marshmallows. Mallers. Oh look, and you get a free small frosty with a purchase of the cereal. Ooh, nice. So that's kind of cool. Present. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. This one has gelatin in the marshmallows, so oh, yes. Brian can eat it. But what you can judge it by like looks. What do you think about looking at it? It looks like I can't eat it. <laughs> The Nutty Buddy ones are more chocolatier. Yeah. I wish there was more marshmallows. I think it would be a lot better with more marshmallows. Yeah, the marshmallows are really... Oh. They're just, oh, they're they're just they're all, all in the back. Back. I do like this cereal. Yeah, I think it tastes good. Okay. I don't I, like I it wish it was more plentiful with marshmallows still, Yeah. But it tastes good. I don't hate it. I do like the Nutter Butter cereal better still for it with chocolate cereal. Chocolate, either. yeah. Wendy's Nutter Butters hit your, your chin. <laughs> When these nut nutters, when these nutters hit your chin. When these, when these nutters hit your butter. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. For our next one, they're great and strawberry. Oh, oh. I'm intrigued. We got, we got strawberry milkshake, Tony the Tiger. My strawberry milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Brings Tony to the yard. Man, yeah, yeah. Think better than y'all. Tony the Tiger in the top five for cereal mascots. I mean, he's definitely one of the hottest ones. Yeah. Whoa, that is super strawberry. I think Alicia's gonna like it because she loves strawberry milk. I do love strawberry milk, but I don't always like strawberry flavor stuff. So we'll see. I hope we just like the milk. What are y'all's y'all thoughts on like standard frosted flakes? Top I five. love top, frosted top five? Yeah, yeah I'm top five. Sure. I don't make a habit of eating them like at all, but I do like them. They I'm, are I'm, top I'm the same. Like I generally never buy them, but anytime I eat them, I'm always very happy and do go back for more. Hmm. Yo, I don't like that. The smell reminds me of that honey bunches of oats. 
Mm. The one with the strawberries in it, right? Yeah. I don't like it personally. I like to dry. I like it wet too. No. No? Mm. I don't is, like it, it. is it taking you too close to strawberry milk territory? Mm-hmm. See, I love strawberry milk. You, you, I like you it. taught me strawberry milk and I liked it. I just like some milk. It's really good strawberry it's milk. Good. Yeah, dude. That's really good. If you like pina, pina coladas. <laughs> Can eat frosted flakes in the rain. <laughs> if you like strawberry milk, then this is gonna be a, 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 a game changer for you. I'd say the cereal is I'm actually killing it. It's good. It's it's improved upon in my opinion. It's good. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. What about you? You like it? I like OG's better, but that, that but it is good. I would eat it. Yeah. So is it killing it for you? It's killing yeah, it. I think, for I'll, me. I think I'll give it the nod. The three of us, we're gonna say killing it. You get outvoted. No, that's fine. But just know that I hate it. While we're in the world of things that Mariah doesn't like, let's move on to her absolute worst. Her mortal enemy. The Peep. Peeps. We got Peep cereal. Marshmallow flavored cereal with marshmallows. Okay, I'm gonna can like I it. ask like, how did Peeps get to be so popular? Like, they're cute. They're not good. They're not good! Like, they're but terrible! They're cute. I, I can eat them, I guess, but I'm never like, oh man, you know, I'm really and craving if, a Peep. It's, it's a shittier marshmallow. Listen, if you put two peeps in the microwave with toothpicks and then turn it on, they sort of fight. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that might be the only <laughs> plausible reason to buy peeps. Smell those. Smell that. Oh! Let <laughs> me smell. Do you have any margie in them? Yeah, I had to pick one out. They're very... They're, they're scarce. They're very scarce. Okay, that's gonna lose points to begin with because this is a, based on a marshmallow snack. It's pretty. It's very pretty. I, I think it is very pretty. I'm getting zero flavor out of that. Yeah, with milk, there's not a lot of flavor. Dry, that had flavor. When you get a marshmallow, the marshmallows do have a flavor in them. But you gotta like really search for a marshmallow. I don't like that at all. I am gonna say spilling it yeah. for these reasons. One, peeps are marshmallows. This should have been like the ratio of marshmallows to yeah. cereal in here. It should have been half and half. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It yeah. should have been half and half. I should have had so many marshmallows in here. I'm gonna go. I'm going spilling it on this one because I was expecting it to be so sweet. Yeah. I was gonna be like, oh. I mean, I, was... I do like it. I do think it tastes good, but I think you're right. It's not like what you're expecting, and I'm okay with spilling it because it's not that flavorful. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't I'm... think it has any flavor, and there's hardly any marshmallows in it. I'm but... going spilling it as well, and for these reasons particularly. Reason number one, peeps just kind of suck. And reason number two, yeah, you don't have to use animals to make cereal. I'm just saying, That's lots true. of other cereal did it. I could have eaten this, but I didn't. but thanks to them being all murderous, I couldn't do murderous. it. Let's get some better cereal. Okay. Can y'all hear that? I hear Awa speaking to us. Who? I don't know what that means. From Pandora. Oh, I've Awa. I've literally never seen What's, Avatar. We got Pandora flavored flakes with blueberry flavored blue moons. Oh, there better be. Heart stars, horseshoes, clovers, and, and blue moons. moons. Smell these, smell those. <clears throat> those smell blueberry. Those have a very blueberry muffin smell. And there's a good ratio. Looks like there's quite yeah. a lot of blues in there. You wanna try it dry? Sure. Hey, Ooh. Ooh, that smells good. It tastes like a crunch berry. This tastes like when you get like the pre-made uh, package of muffins and you eat the little blueberry chips out of it before oh, you yeah. actually make them. Yeah. These are very blueberry. <clears throat> it, does, it does taste like blueberry muffin. Mmm. I, I I liked it dry already. So. Yeah, it was pretty good dry. And that was I didn't even have anything with the flakes yet. Two flame blooms. This is good stuff. This is mm. good. I, I didn't like have this. I didn't have any excitement for this one. I'm gonna take a blue moon through the green glass. Door. Dang Tony, you went all the way yeah. to Pandora, got us some delicious cereal. Oh. Avatar the Last Airbender was the only Avatar. Secret tunnel! They actually had to change that franchise to called The Last Airbender because this movie came out and it was so high grossing that Nickelodeon only couldn't compete. Well, that's Shit. unfortunate because it's way better. I agree. Actually, I can't say that. I've never seen Avatar. I just heard that it sucks. You know, it's the, literally the highest grossing film ever, right? That doesn't make it good. No, that's true. It doesn't make it good. They got a sequel. Do you love Titanic? Yeah. Never mind. I also love Titanic, so I don't know where you're going with that. It makes me cry. The James Cameron made both of them. The Avatar okay. movies are good, but um, they are very long. We They're shall. an undertaking. You're telling me you wouldn't like a movie about 10 foot tall animal people who are having Listen. weird sexual intercourses with hair. I am a furry, but you don't have to call me out like this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to cereal here. It's delicious. It is 
kill one. This is probably my favorite one so yeah, far. Yeah, it was really good. It was killing it. Really I, and I had no expectations. Uh, yeah. I, like, there, I was like, I'm not going to like this one. I know this is going to go away eventually. We're never going to see it again. Never. I, mean, maybe well, I don't know, but in 12 years 30. when they make the third movie. Yeah, I would actually love a cereal of just the blue part. Yeah. I mean, like, I need like, like oops all, I need an oops all berries Pandora flakes. Yeah. <laughs> oops, oops all blue all moons. Blue oops all blue moons. moons. <laughs> so it's those, killing it. Yeah, killing it. Killing it. Woo! So we're gonna take another trip to Restaurant Land. Restaurant Land. And go to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> so this is Dunkin' Caramel Macchiato. So it's based on their coffee here, and it is very. I've never had a coffee flavored cereal before. I don't know if I have, but I do like caramel macchiato. Wanna try it dry? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! That's very coffee flavor. Now with three shots of espresso. It is, oh my god. Right? Yeah, I mean, it tastes like coffee. That is coffee. I'm gonna get turnt on this, let me tell you. <laughs> it's not so overbearing. More milk, more milk. More milk. More milk. I know, you are... A little stingy. Mariah, I just want you to know that, that your lack of milking on your cereal is a trauma response, okay? <laughs> A trauma response. You you poured too much milk one time and you're saying, God damn girl! Much more all that milk out! Yeah, you got you. And then you're right because you probably you never drink all the milk. Yeah. <laughs> and then forever you were like, alright, three and a half tablespoons of milk per bowl of cereal. Okay. This was very sophisticated and adult. Yeah, this is a grown up cereal for sure. Yeah. Is it the kind of you know grown up cereal like you'd eat it like an art gala or something? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Try that milk. And this would be good to actually drink your coffee with. Yeah, it just tastes like a like, yeah, put that in a coffee filter and, and make your just coffee, make coffee with the syrup. Should we try that? We're not running my coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> funny story about coffee maker. Brian, do you have a funny story about a coffee maker? This <laughs> mother. <laughs> when I used to work a normal job, eight to five, like I would set my coffee maker to make my coffee to like start brewing at six or whatever time I got up. So when I would leave for work, I'd make a cup of coffee. I laid down one night and forgot to set the timer. I called Brian into the bedroom and I said, hey, I'm too tired to get up. Can you make my coffee? And he was like, I don't have to make coffee before. So I was like, all right, you know, you, you get the filter, you put the coffee grounds in the filter, you put water in the back, and you just set the timer for this time and hit go. It'll start brewing in the morning. He's like, okay. I get up the next morning. I don't smell coffee. I'll tell you that. I do not smell coffee. And I'm like, oh, he forgot to turn it on. Whatever. I'll go in there. You know, so I mosey in there and I hear this like gurgling, crackling, this awful witch brewing sound. And I'm like, what is it? So I go in there and it's it's trying to brew something, but it's like not working. It's like steam's coming out of it. It smells weird. I lift that thing up and he has put potting soil instead of coffee in there. I was going for that real earthy tone, you know? Potting soil. And then what did you say? What'd what did you say? You, say? You, you should just be happy that I tried. <laughs> Like, that is such a 20 year old man response to him. Okay, to be fair, right? Her grandmother, for whatever reason, had given her potting soil in a Folgers coffee can. Because candy. that's what you put it in. That was sitting on the counter in the kitchen. It was still very obviously dirt. Okay, she's, she's right. It was pretty obvious. It had that the it was little dirt. white stuff in it and sticks. I thought it was just a real, like, natural blend of coffee. <laughs> It's so natural. It's doing it though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah still it is. I've been sitting there snacking through the story, and it did. It, it got better. It got, got better. better and better. I love this. This is really good. Yeah. good stuff. Dunkin' Donuts, you're killing it with the cereal. Killing it. Um, you know the best place for someone to work at that only has one leg. Hmm. <laughs> IHOP. So, I have been so excited to try this one. This is the one I've been looking forward to the most. It's IHOP mini pancake cereal with blueberries and syrup flavored. Okay. I still have a bit of a grudge against IHOP because they charged me $7 for a single waffle one time and I thought wow. that was bullshit. Really? Is it, was it a Belgian waffle? No. It's because well, your mistake was going to a pancake place for a while. Yeah. We should have gone to Waffle House. They were teaching you a lesson. That okay. is not the shape I was expecting. I don't they're, know why. They're shaped like pancakes. I, but they're so rounded. They're they shaped look like, like cookie crisps. I was about to say cookie crisps. They're like UFOs. Cookie crisps. Right, don't let Mariah pour the milk. She's going to pour two and a half tablespoons of milk. Right. I'm just going to pop the bottom when she <laughs> tips it. I do have high expectation for these to perform though because it is a breakfast place <laughs> making cereal. Now that's the appropriate amount okay, of milk. It tastes really good dry. Yeah. It reminds me of either like uh, those little blue toilet pucks or bedazzling. You know what though? 
Those aren't as blueberry flavorful as the Pandora ones. They're not as blueberry flavored. No. Oh man, you know what these taste like? My favorite vape juice. Mmm. It smells, it tastes like how vape juice smells. You ruined it. What are y'all thinking here? I love this. It's, a, it's not super sweet. It's not too blueberry-y. I think it's spilling because I don't think it's, I mean, it's, it's selling itself as a blueberry pancake. Go back to your But, you gotta factor in that there's gonna be a pancake taste too, not just blueberry. I want the malty that's cool. I don't want it with milk. Yeah, I think it tasted better dry. These it tastes are, better dry. These are really, really good dry. With milk, They almost, mint. they lose all the flavor. They lose milk. all flavor with oh, well, milk. Well, give me one dry, because I liked it with milk. I thought the flavor was great. No, no. I think really? it's more blueberry than milk. I don't think so. It's very bland dry. Bland dry? Bland dry. It's killing it, but dry. Killing it dry. Killing it I think it's it killing dry. it either way, but it's great wet. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm spilling it, honestly. All the way around. Dry or wet. I'm spilling it. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's get on to something else. So after me, Lucky Charm. Oh, no. Oh. The s'mores, the Lucky Charm. Ooh. There's so much s'more to find in the Magic Forest. Oh, there's so much happening in here. Whoa! Wow. That looks like trail mix. Okay, so we have for sure what looks like golden grams mixed in here for the graham cracker part. We have regular white marshmallows along with Lucky Charms marshmallows plus a chocolate cereal. Look at the ratio to marshmallows. That is, a, that is how you do marshmallows. Yeah. yeah. Lucky, Lucky Charms did it right with marshmallows. Yeah. They are the OG like marshmallow cereal. Is that all you're gonna pour? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that looks like you went in like just Bulldoze a gingerbread man's house and then made some. a cereal out of it. So Hard good. stars, horseshoes, colors, and balloons. balloons. Lots of, wait, pots of gold and rainbows and, and the, the red, red balloons. balloons. Yeah. yeah. Now it's shooting stars and rainbows in the red balloon? Yeah, shooting stars and rainbows. Lucky charms, lucky charms. <laughs> Peanut lucky butter chocolate charm. flavor. <laughs> Each individual piece tasted really good, I'll say. I'm ready for this one to wet. Yeah, I want to get like a, the best bite. I don't like it. You don't? Nope. Why not? What's your Chris? I think the grams. Yeah? The grams are what's killing it for me. Yeah. I think I like the grams and I don't like the chocolate cereal that much. Is it is it like the metric system specifically or? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we really don't like the metric system around huh. here. Yeah. I do like the grams like separately, but when it's mixing with the chocolate and those kind of marshmallows, it's just not good. Every it piece, almost has a bitter taste. Yes. Every piece tastes good separately though, but together, yeah, it kind of doesn't really go that good together. Does it taste like a s'more? No. no. Not at all. I, I'm 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 done with this one, guys. This one's spilling it. This I'm is actually keep the, eating the marshmallows. This is actually the worst tasting one that we've had so far. Mm. Some of them may have been flavorful or not very flavorful, but this one is actually to a point to where I say that I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. It doesn't taste good. It's bitter. You know, out of left field here, I'm gonna go killing it because the Maybe. ratio to marshmallow cereal. Yeah, it this just is a thumbs up for me on that. I think if we would have got rid of the gram part. Well, that's part of a s'more, the graham cracker. Maybe if they would have added chocolate pieces and then made this part like graham, graham cracker. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they should have done. They should have had chocolate <laughs> bits, the marshmallow, and then the Lucky Charm part should have been made out of the graham. Yeah, I think or that would have been Maybe better. they should have just stayed in their, their lane, you know? <clears throat> yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's that too. This wasn't good. And there are s'more cereals out there that are delicious. Let me taste the milk, though. <laughs> so Lucky Charm s'mores. Spilling it. Spilling it. Spill that shit. So for our final cereal, it's actually not one of the big brands. Um, it's actually the Walmart generic Malto meal. Ah. And they have made maple and bacon donut. This um, is the one I'm most excited for. Well, this is probably the straightest one we're gonna try too. Maple bacon donut cereal. And it's got a little pig in a barrel flowing down. And I love maple bacon donuts. And surprisingly, our vegetarian friend can actually enjoy these because it says specifically on your not made with real bacon. Yeah. So yeah. the bacon cereal is the only cereal the vegetarian gets to eat. <laughs> I looked at the ingredients. It is veggie sick. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, very it smells like um, French toast crunch. It smells yes, like that. Very maple. Smells like that one baked juice I had that you really, really hated. <laughs> your face says no. Matt says no. It's not really, it doesn't really taste like anything. It kind of tastes like, um, it looks like it's a bacon. It tastes on it. like how my chinchilla cage smelled. <laughs> Nibble off the little bacon bit end on okay. me. Just get just the little crunchy bacon bit and taste how awful that is. It doesn't really taste like anything. Mm. Let me swirl it around. It, okay. It's got more flavor with milk. 
I don't taste bacon at all. I just taste maple leaf. Okay, this is taking me almost into bacon candy cane territory. I don't like it at all. It tastes that like is... wood, but not a good way. Well, now that it's sitting, it's not as bad. I think it takes a second to kick in. Yeah, see, it's not. It's not. But that it, bad to but me. It, you shouldn't have to wait for it to sit in and be good. It should either be good immediately or not. I hate this one. Hate it? Wow. I, hate I don't this. like it really. I don't think I hate it. I want to spill it right into the hole of hell that crawled out of. These might as well be little butthole rings that you're tasting. With no, hemorrhoids. Like oh! like, he likes to taste a butthole. Oh, I got the visual of that. Ah. <laughs> the little red spots are hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. No, oh, that was awful. Okay. It wasn't great, guys. No, it wasn't. I was so sad. I was the most excited about that one. I love a maple bacon donut. Love it. Yeah, but that I had such high expectations for it to be a lot sweeter. Yeah, this is a sad note to end on. My favorite, Nutty Buddy. Oh, I forgot about that already. Nutty Buddy ones were Nutty my. Nutty Buddy were favorite. really good. Nutty Buddy. Nutty I Nutty like Buddy's the caramel macchiato. I forgot what all we ate. What else was there? Um, Whataburger, Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think my favorite so far was the Pandora Flakes, personally. Pass me the Duncan. What was your favorite, Brian? That's the Nutty Buddy. Nutty Buddy. And it ain't even close. Yeah. I could go, I could do a joint degree that Little Debbie's Nutty Buddy cereal is the best one that we've tried today. Yeah, that was really good. Let's have another bowl. Yeah, definitely. Let's get some more of that going. Yeah. Something now delicious. Now you're going to be generous with your pores. <laughs> now. Oh yeah, Monster Mash. We have every cereal we've tried today in a big old skull here, like we did with our Halloween episode. Oh, it's so soggy. That's so gross. <laughs> I want to make sure I get at least one pancake and one chocolate. Daniel did throw up when we did this. Did he? Yeah. Okay. That's better, but I think it's because I didn't get a maple butthole in there. Maple butthole. This is so ugly. I hate it because it's soggy. It looks like soggy. literal intestines. But it just tastes like sweet. It's very... I taste the apple big time. Are y'all thinking this could even be top 10 territory? I think it's definitely finale. a contender. Thanks. What we've learned right now is what you should do is drop what you're doing as soon as you get done watching this video you should like it and subscribe and then you should go get you some little debbie nubby buddy nubby bubbies nubby bubbies nubby bubbies thank you everybody for watching and until next time remember to eat, eat some, some.